Hey beautiful people, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom prom for our Redmi Note 11 as you can see here. And this time this is the official version of the official build of CR Druid. As you can see here the CR version, CR Druid version is 9.0 which is the all the way latest build for our Redmi Note 11 and it is also the official one. So as you can see here it is pretty much based on Android 13 and uh, its security patch is also all the way latest 5 November 2022 and vendor security patch level is also the latest 5 October 2022. So in this video I will be showing you what features uh, do we have in this ROM and how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11 and is this ROM stable for daily usage or not. So without any further ado let's get started. But before starting the video make sure to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for future updates. So the ROM is pretty much stable, there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM, everything is just working fine, uh, there is no any single bug or issue, let me show you, Wi-Fi is working perfectly, mobile data is working without any issue as you can see here, LTE is working, hotspot, even the hotspot is also working without any issue and Bluetooth is also working and uh, everything is just working fine because this is the official build that's why this is a more stable build for our redmi note 11 so first of all let me show you the geekbench results uh, of this uh, rom so it just scored 377 on single core and it scored 1534 on the multi core this score is pretty much impressive it is uh, it just scored uh, more than the uh, previous android 13 based custom roms so that's mean this is a very good RAM for your daily uh, usage and yes of course you can do uh, gaming and a lot of stuff using this ROM. So in this ROM we don't get a lot of applications pre-installed we only get the needed applications and if you want more applications then you can go to the play store and download and play any game or application. So in the camera we have this simple camera and now they have added the ultra wide option to the camera as you can see here and by the way this option is available in video and uh, photo both so from this option you can access more features like timeout screen ratio grid and if you go to the video from here you can change the quality and do uh, mic settings and all other settings from here you can also scan any document using this camera and if you want more features uh, like portrait mode and all other uh, advanced features like night mode then you can go for a gcam and uh, you can download the gcam from the google play store or our website 9to5mods.com i will drop the download link in the description box so first of all let's start with the installation of this rom so the installation process is pretty much simple so you just have to download the rom from the link in the description and reboot your device into an installed recovery so i am going to use a, a twrp recovery so if, so if you have not installed a TWRP recovery on your Redmi Note 11 yet, then you can watch my video from the link in the description. By watching that video, you will be able to install the TWRP, latest TWRP recovery on your Redmi Note 11. So after downloading the uh, CR Droid official ROM for our Redmi Note 11, you just have to uh, store the uh, CR Droid ROM into your internal storage, your SD card, or you can also use any external hard drive. As I am using an external hard drive, so first of all, you need to go into the wipe, click on format data, and from here you have to type yes, and click on the stick button, it will gonna wipe your data. So I'm not going to do these steps because I have already installed this ROM. Then you have to go into the install and uh, go to your preferred storage and now locate your downloaded CR Droid. Mine is right here, CR Droid 9.0. Just click on it and flash it right from here. After flashing it, you just have to go into the advanced and from here you have to flash current TWRP to make it permanent. Then go back, reboot, click on system and the ROM will be booted up on your Redmi Note 11 within a few seconds. So after booting up, you can check the uh, a simple and pretty much unique UI of this ROM. So I just customized the home screen by my own by adding some beautiful wallpaper and uh, adding some widgets to it. You can do it your, by yourself. Just go to the wallpaper and style. And from here, you can change wallpaper to any of these. These wallpapers are pre-installed in this ROM. So you can use any of these. And then here we have wallpaper colors. You can also get the basic colors. And then you can uh, 
enable the dark theme and you can also enable the themed icons and you can also change the app grid right from here and after enabling the themed icons it will look like this it looks pretty much unique and everyone uh, gonna ask you which android phone is this and uh, then you have to go into the widgets from here you have you can add a lot of widgets to your home screen to make it beautiful and uh, then at the top we have the home settings and from here you can uh, do a lot of stuff like you can change the icon settings home screen settings app drawer recent settings and from here you can change the quick actions you can enable screenshot lens and clear all option for the quick uh, recent applications as you can see here then here we have misc and from the misc you can hide and protect the applications right from this launcher no need to install any third party application and from the left you can get the google feed right from here and the app opening speed is of this rom is also pretty much good as you can see here the animations are played very well the applications are opening pretty quickly as you can see here and yes you can do gaming on it and now let's go into the settings and have a look on the customizations so first of all here we have quick settings right here and quick settings looks like this okay uh, from the bottom here we have a uh, dock type right here and here we have setting option and power option by the way advanced reboot option is also available right here so you can also edit the shortcuts right from here so in the settings first of all we have connectivity option apps notification battery so the battery backup of this rom is also pretty much impressive as you can see here uh, right now my battery is on 70 percent and it is so showing about uh, estimated time is about 12 hours 28 minutes left so that's pretty much impressive from here you can check the battery usage here we have battery saver then we have battery manager battery optimization is also right here you can note the battery temperature and you can check all other battery details then we have storage option sound and vibration and uh, in the sound and vibration uh, we don't have any sound enhancer in this room as you can see here and uh, here we have haptics and vibrations and we also don't have the Dolby Atmos pre-installed in this room as you can see here but we have the game space right here that's mean this room is uh, good for gaming as you can see here here we have some gaming options you can add any game to the library so after it we have display right here in the display we have all other options from previous roms like you can enable the dark theme you can adjust the size of display and text you can make the size uh, text bold and you can also make the text high contrast then we have night light which is working fine you can uh, change its intensity then we have live display and then you can change the color profile right from here means i want to choose the boosted one then here we have rotation settings smooth display you can enable the smooth display it will automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 90 hertz for some content like you are uh, scrolling on social media or doing any gaming stuff then this feature will be helpful here we have full screen apps screen saver tap to wake tap to sleep and it is working fine as you can see here and here we have app refresh rate so in this rom we don't have any option to set the maximum refresh rate or minimum refresh rate so after it here we have accessibility security now in the security we have all security options like fingerprint is just working face unlock is also available right here as you can see here and uh, all other on-screen locks are also present in this rom and uh, you can use any of these so that's a plus point for this room then we have privacy location safety emergency passwords and accounts google see android settings and in this android settings here we have all available customizations first of all we have the customizations for the status bar from here you can manage the status bar icons then we have clock settings clock and date network monitor as you can see here then we have some other icon settings you can enable or disable the logo for the uh, status bar by the way we don't have any option to okay you can change the logo style right from here okay okay let's try this one then you can also change the battery style battery percentage battery bar and some other gesture then we have quick settings 
options lock screen options right here then we have navigation bar options buttons options in this uh, setting here you can uh, tweak into the power button and volume button settings then we have user interface and from here you can enable or disable the ambient display then we have charging animations off screen we also have the smart pixel it's gonna reduce the power consumption here we have monitor settings which is pretty much good you can set up any custom color right from here then we have navbar style phone style icon pack signal icon pack wi-fi icon pack you can change the icon shape right from here then we have the notification options sound options in the misc we have game space and you can also unlock the higher fps in games we also have the unlimited storage photo storage and here we have swipe to screenshot and sensor block per package and weather settings and from the about you can read about this here droid so after it here we have system in the system we have languages and input system profile gestures in the gesture we have quickly open camera system navigation bar one-handed mode which is one of my favorite uh, feature from the android 13 and android 12 and then we have press and hold power button premium ringing then we have date and time backup and uh, updater multiple users reset option and at the end here we have a bar phone from the bar phone you can check your android version and see android version which is 9.0 and its android version is 13 and which is the latest android version and uh, as you can see here the animations looks pretty much sick and the uh, droid version is 9.0 security patch is all the way latest so this rom is pretty much stable so if you are looking for a stable android 13 based custom rom then this one is good for you so you can install it and use it as your daily driver so this was the review video of sear droid i hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel i have a second channel where i post uh, other custom room videos you can uh, find the link in the description and subscribe to my both channels keep supporting thanks for watching peace